So you've seen how to use Git on its own to track the history of changes to a code base on your local machine. But how can you share that with the internet and potentially other people that you're working with? The main way that people do that is through a website called GitHub. GitHub is a place where you can store all of your Git repos and make them publicly available or just shared privately within a small few people and in your team perhaps. But it's a place where you can kind of secure all of that online. You can store it on the cloud. So if anything does happen to your laptop, for example, then all of that code, all of the tracked content in the repos is stored on the cloud. So here's what GitHub looks like. You can go to github.com and you can make an account as you usually would on any application. And then you'll be able to see your profile. So my profile looks like this. There's a few things going on here. You can see my details and you can see my repositories up here. This is the most interesting part really, so let's zoom in on that. So here are all of the different repos which I've made and contributed to in the, in the whole history of me using GitHub. So what I've done is I've worked on projects on my local machine and then I've pushed them to GitHub, either because I want them to be saved online if anything happens to my laptop, or because I want other collaborators to be able to access those projects and contribute to them as well. I can actually create a repo directly from within GitHub. And to do that, I just click this green button. So I'm gonna create a new repo called demo repo. And what I wanna point out here is, so to follow best practices for naming GitHub repos, you should capitalize every word and replace the spaces with dashes, not underscores, it looks horrific. So I can do a few things here. I can add description, I can change the visibility of this repo, and I can do a bunch of other things as well. One thing that you can choose to do, or not, is to add a readme file. But what's significant about adding a readme when you create a repo from GitHub is that that creates a commit because it's adding tracked code to this repo. So in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to get this repo onto your laptop. And uh, just to make things easier, I'm gonna create a readme file so that it's got some code in when I clone it to my machine. And then I can go ahead and hit create repository. And that creates this repo. And when there is files been tracked in this repo, you can see all of them here. So I can click into the readme, it looks like this. And by default, the readme is actually displayed on the home page of the repo. Like I said, it's like a blurb for your repo. What else can we see here? Anything interesting? Across the top, you can see all of the different tabs. There's loads of different ways you can configure your repos or add workflows to it or track different issues with it, merge branches together and such. We'll probably save that for another time and just focus on this code section for now. But in here, you can really just see an overview of it. Maybe one thing that's interesting to note is you can change which branch you're on using that button if there are more than one branch. Or you can create a new branch. All from within GitHub. I'm not going to do that for now. What I do want to show is how you would get this on your laptop. You can edit things in GitHub directly. But you really shouldn't be doing that. Um, GitHub is not a code editor. It's just a place to store these repos online. So to get this code on my laptop, I can hit this green code button. And that's gonna give me a link and a few different ways that I can copy it. Uh, the simplest one is just with this HTTPS. I'm not even sure how the others work. I wouldn't really bother with them. But you can copy this link and then what we're going to do is called a git clone. So using the command line, we can clone everything in this repository to our local machine. So here I am in VS Code. And I'm going to go to the terminal and run git clone. And then I'm going to paste that link, which I copied from GitHub, from this button and this link. And now if I run that, it starts cloning the repo. So it copies everything that's tracked in GitHub and currently stored online and puts that on my laptop. So if I LS now, I'll see there's a new folder called demo repo and inside that demo repo, you'll see everything that's tracked by GitHub. Right now, that's just my repo. And now I can use this in exactly the same way as if I'd created the repo on my laptop to start with. Or by doing this, I could have got access to a repo which someone else has created and put on GitHub. So now let's say I make the usual changes to my code. Add everything to staging. So 
So one important thing there is that I wasn't inside the folder where this git repo had been cloned when I wanted to run git commands. So git didn't know where it should be looking. So what I've got to do is change directory so I'm inside that folder and that's where the git repo is initialized. So that any git command which needs access to the data stored in the repo knows which git file it should be looking at. So now I'm in that folder. If I list everything in there, you can see it's got this .git folder. So when I run git, it's going to check that at least in some parent folder above me, there's a .git file and that's going to be the repo which it makes these changes to. So that's a really common mistake to make. You're running a terminal, but the terminal isn't in a location which is inside where the git repo is tracking. So now I've created that change, I want to add it to staging and commit that change. And now it's been tracked in the history. But the question is, how do I get it back to GitHub? I've pulled everything down from GitHub and now I want to go the other way. I've made a commit and I'm ready to push it online. The way to do that is using git push. And when I run that, it will push all of those changes to GitHub. So now if I go back here and refresh that, you're going to see the change reflected in the GitHub repo. And so that is the most important basics of how Git interacts with GitHub. GitHub is just a website online for storing your repos and sharing them with others. You can clone repos off of GitHub and push back to them whenever you want.